Hey everyone, xman 490 here, and as you saw for a split second, it was nighttime, but now it is daytime. Uh, I got an Ultra Ball here, right over here. Uh, so in between episodes, uh, it was at nighttime, and I went to the uh, the mansion in Eternal Forest, and I found Rotom, and I just beat it, you know? Uh, the Rotom being the thing, the TV, or the, the sort of staticky television thing. In the uh, mansion in the Eterna Forest. Now there's that repel going off. Uh, I don't really feel like buying any more, though I only have like eight left. I think there's like. Uh, okay, that's odd music. By the way, this trade actually, this girl has a uh, Neverstone on her haunter. Now let's check the TV. Hmm. Okay, a rare, oddly colored Pokemon. Uh, okay. Oh, just Red Gyarados. Next show, sports. So I'm looking here because there's a certain steel type that is uh, dependent, like its existence is dependent on, uh, or like it, a sign of it showing up is in the television and TV and Crash Awake doing some kind of surfing or whatever, whatever. Okay, let's see. Next show. Uh, don't really care. Let's just sit here watching television, shall we? Eh? Uh oh. Uh, back to commercials, and Team Galactic still has that commercial up, and commercial up, it, it's, it's odd, you know. So, if you go this way, I believe we can actually go this way. This girl says, only the Chosen may enter. Ah, and here's Candace. Um, I don't know if, oh, okay, okay, yeah, th this, it's a lot of this. This this part of the game now we're we're doing stuff we can now do in the post game you know after defeating Cynthia so we can mosey on in here. This is the Snow Point Temple. There's a lot of uh, slippery ice like this. You know, we demonstrate it a bit more here. I don't know what Pokemon there are in here, and I don't really care. But there is like if you have all the uh, Reg Eyes, you know, like uh, Reg Eye Ice, Reg Steel, and Reg Eye Rock. Then you will be able to find uh, at the top of the temple a uh, Regi Steel. I mean Regi Gigas, which is a uh, normal type. Uh, oh, da, 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 da. I think I think the best situation, best idea here is to have Harvey Wet in front. There is a battle that we're going to get to pretty soon. When we get to the battle zone, yes. Ah, hello, Cynthia. How you doing? Hmm. Oh yeah, yeah, that again. Yeah, definitely. Sure. Alright. So we go through this I on this icebreaker ship after defeating Cynthia, of course, and now we can go over to the battle zone. And to start off, here's Nolan greeting us. Uh you know, now that we're here in the battle zone. So let's uh let's you know, check it out. Just uh, going along with Nolan here, and right at the start, we have these two, uh, Flint and Volkner. Uh huh. Oh well. <sighs> I don't really want to, but okay, fine. I'll get. Oh, this is actually pretty nice because you know you have the chance to go to the Pokemon Center. But let's do it. Come on, Nolan. Let's show them how tough we really are. 
It's uh, Flint and Volkner. And Volkner somehow does not mention that he has electric types. What does that matter? We already know these two. Uh, yeah. First people we met in Sunny Shore City, after all. Alright, so... Here's the plan. I'm gonna put up some rain. Gonna make it rain. Gonna get hit by a flamethrower and something or other, but whatever. <sighs> uh, close combat will take care of that Hound Doom, no problem, as that Hound Doom is a dark fire type. Or fire dark, you know. Um, yeah. So now we have it raining. And I kind of want to switch out, but I think I think I'll just keep, you know, stay in for a while, you know. Go for this Luxray. Ooh. U-turn. That's interesting. Oh, going from something that's weak to electric to something that is also weak to electric. That is unfortunate. Oh dear. Now that Luxray is gonna pull off something on Harvey Wet. But we get a hit in, you know. I mean, in hindsight, I think it would maybe be better to just, like. Oh, you know. There's that. So we are going to have to switch out. Oh, and Leaf Storm. Oh, that's. Uh, Leaf Storm is uh, sort of the, I believe it's the Hyper Beam of Grass types. There's Leaf Storm, Hydro Cannon, I think, uh, and uh, Blast Burn. Those are like Hyper Beam, you know, special moves and all. And they are very powerful and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much, you know, like, uh, 150 power, a little, like, 90% uh, accuracy, and they will stun the Pokémon using it. Unless the battle's over, or you switch out, of course. Alright, nice level up there, Neptune. Kinda surprised that, Mag that Magmordar didn't take that much damage. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, um, we still had to share the experience there. Rain continues to fall, and uh, Nolan still continues to have Pokemon that he can send out. It's kind of unfair, you know. Like these, these, these two only have three Pokemon each. You know, just just their three best, I guess. You know, I mean, I guess Jolteon's better than the Raichu. There's, uh, there goes, uh, Flint's signature Pokemon. Pokemon. Yep. Ah, uh, boy. Jolteon's taking quite a few hits, I tell you what. And here's Flareon. So now we have these two evolutions. Out! Ouch! Oh dear. Well, at least that won't deal much. Uh huh. The rain is still falling. And I guess I guess it's all right. You know, it's it's a pretty good idea to send out Johnny to get a thunder out. You know, I think Flint's down to one, and so is Faulkner. And here's Faulkner's signature Pokemon. So let's uh, see if we can tag team these two. Ooh, that hurt. Alright. Thunder that. Flareon's paralyzed. Hmm. Huh, let me think. I think another Thunder's in order. You know, just finish off the Flareon. Oh, wait, what was that? Was that... Oh, flash fire. Okay, yeah, y y if you were looking closely there, it powered up the moves. 
the fire type move of Flareon, but that you know wouldn't have worked anyways. I think we're gonna we should switch out. Uh, go for Goku. Pull off uh, close combat. I don't know if uh, Nolan Star Raptor will do that, but we'll see. Ooh, Goku's taking some heavy damage, and I think it won't be fast enough to go up against Electrifier again, but whatever. Yeah. Ah, <sighs> boy. I really should get to training. I mean, even Nolan's Pokémon are stronger than mine, higher in level. It's kind of surprising, you know? I mean... Hey, you know, I, I do what I do. I do what I can here, but still. And I think the wild Pokémon out in this region, or this area, are, in fact, um... Strong, like over level 50. Oh dear, that's gonna hurt. Kind of forgot about that. Ah, oh, Jesus. Alright, well, Nolan takes him down. There's that. And wow, we're already at 11 and a half minutes. Jesus. Oh no, I think I had the animations off. Oh, whatever. Yet again, there's a battle with Nolan, he's shown off his Pokemon, and I just don't bother. Huh. Alright. Hmm? Oh. Oh, this is Nolan's father. Palmer. I don't know what he specializes in, I don't really care for this, like, sort of... Like this kind of post-game stuff, this like, uh, you know, battle towers and battle arena things, you know, it's just, you know, it's not like an adventure, you know, you're just like, finding like random things, it's just not that interesting. <clears throat> uh huh. Oh really? Alright, see you later, Nolan. And then there's this guy. This is Buck. I don't know if... Okay, so I think we might actually find him later at that uh, aforementioned Stark Mountain. Which is kind of in the direction that, that we're going. So I think we step on into here. You know, and then these uh, people are like, oh, well, look at this. Oh! Um, I think w w another thing I forgot to mention when we got the national decks, we got something else a uh, uh, a key item. Let me see here. This thing, the Pokey Radar, searches out Pokemon. So when you're going in the tall grass, it will uh, grass will shake. Now, I think we can actually go. Okay, we have access to you know going beyond. Uh, but in this episode, we're just gonna go be here, and then go to the east. Um, yeah. Uh, let me think. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna go to the east, there's just a little route, you know, not, like, hardly any trainers and stuff. There is some surfing to do, so I guess I'll put up a super repel. Uh, yeah. So now we're over here at Route 230. Kind of a really simple route. Now we have this new music, but not really time to really appreciate it, because we're just going to be surfing along. Do 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 do. Oh, we actually do have trainers here. Did I heal up? Yeah, I did. Okay. Uh... Okay, uh... Oh! Oops! I didn't mean to do it that way. But whatever. 
Oh hey, it's Celio. Celio is a water ice type, and I know exactly what to use against it. Uh. All right, Johnny Two, you know what to do. Ooh, that's a nasty attack there, Blizzard. Powerful, powerful stuff there. Powerful. I don't know if there's really anything interesting in this route besides a few swimmers, like these two. We'll see, you know. I don't really remember this route. There are plenty of uh, trainers in the other routes, however. And I think we can actually find uh, Energy Ball to teach the Harvey what to deal with things like this. Uh, I guess Damn Worm would be good because... You know, like take those uh, those earthquakes or whatever this thing has, or mud ball or whatever. Though accuracy is gonna be a problem, but you know we we got that going. Did that? Got a big hit there, so I think you should go with a psychic. And I think damn worm's gonna survive another hit, but. Okay, yeah, we're, we're, we're doing this, you know. Another Psychic will take this thing down. Nicely done. I don't know how to say it other than nice. It is nice. Alright, let's switch out. Uh, I guess Johnny 2 again. You know, another Swimmer, another battle. Yep. <sighs> I kinda wish I could put these two together, you know, battle them together, but whatever. And Jellybird, huh? Hmm. This is an ice flying type, and it I think it only has like uh the move present, which uh like can cause an explosion that deals a lot of damage, or it could just heal the opponent, you know? So it is not a good Pokemon at all. But I do think it does learn some TMs. I'm quite sure it does. Uh, Mantine. Oh yeah, this is perfect. Quite excellent. This is Mantine. It is the evolution of Mantike. Little baby thing. And we can just uh, zap it, you know. Mantine does have a lot of special defense, but, you know, it is quadruple weak to uh, electric type move. And there's uh, some wild or some tall grass here. Uh, I don't think that my super pal is really gonna go into effect, but I guess it does here. Hmm, that's odd. And I guess you're supposed to go like you're expected to go clockwise on these routes, but it turns out that I am not going clockwise because whatever. Da 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 da. I really like this tune. Hang on, let me put up the volume a bit. I think... I don't know, it just doesn't seem loud enough. Okay, just just drop louder, you know? Uh, yeah, I guess Johnny 2 against this guy. Let's see. Let's see what he has. And we're going on 18 and a half minutes, but hey, you know, whatever. This will be a pretty good episode then. Didn't know how long it would be, but you know, we, we have a lot to see. We got a lot to see. Yeah. This is Octillery, the evolution of, uh, uh, Remoraid. Yep. So I'm just, just the plain water type. Here's another plain water type, Poliwhirl. You probably know what Poliwhirl is, you know. Generation 1. It's a Gen 1-er. So, Discharge takes this thing out of commission. Ugh. I just had a burp there. Ah, uh, more swimmers. jeez. Uh, Can I, like, fight them together? I wonder. This girl is uh, back and forth. This guy is just in his own path. 
So we're gonna have to, you know, if we want to fight them, which I kind of do want to fight them, you know, we're gonna have to do them separately. So yeah, they really didn't expect this to be such a long episode, you know, but hey, you know, it, it, it's it's kind of quick, you know. We're we're taking down all these water types, you know, zapping them up, <clears throat> electrifying them. And this here is Love Disc, it doesn't evolve, it's strangely enough, because there's like something that looks like a heart or hands, it's weird. I think called Amamora, or, or no, it's, 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 uh, I don't know, I don't care. Let's see what we have here. Gyro Ball? Uh, no thank you. Yes. I already have a Steel-type move, and frankly, you know, Gyro Ball, you know, Johnny 2 doesn't have a lot of attack and all that, you know, pretty quick, you know, and it's not really slow either, so forget about it. Uh, Lapras, y'all know, water, ice type, you know, pretty good thing, you know, you can find it in some places, it's kind of rare, but easy to find, or like easy to catch, you know what I mean? Alright. Krabby, y'all know, water type. Very weak to special type moves, or special moves, I mean. So, this thing's going down. Going downtown. Poor fish is another sort of crustacean. Uh, it evolves into a water dark type, but for now it's just water. So yeah, another discharge. Just electrifying everything out here, you know. I wonder if there's like another crustacean or something. Oh well, yeah, Kingler, huh? The evolution of Krabby. Still a plain old water type, like plenty of the water types in Generation 1. Because, hey, whatever, you know. Didn't have a lot of imagination there, you know. And this generation, people were like, hey, what about all these other ones? Let's, let's evolve them. Let's give them some different types. Let's make them freaking dinosaur things, you know. Uh... Oh, there goes the rappel. And here's the pitch, it's a Pelipper, level 43, so it's actually kind of worth my time anyways. Well, that's nice. Discharge on that, and we're going on just about 23 minutes here. That's, that's, that's crazy. So we're just going to drop in to... Wait, aren't we? No, 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 this is like a little pathway here. Okay, so this is the resort area. This is for people who like to do Pokemon contests and things. Uh, for instance, here in the main hall or whatever. Oh, it, hello. Oh, oh, right. You have to have uh, you have to have a ribbon. Yeah, or plenty of ribbons. So yeah, like you get ribbons from Pokemon contests and stuff. Here's Pokemon Center, whatever. Is somewhat impressive. Huh? What? Okay. Well, what do you know? Huh. Sounds like Steven. Alright. <laughs> yeah, none too shabby. And I kind of want to get that item, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> well, that's that's nice. It's just a little like kind of a secret base or something. Uh huh. So it's a place we can. No one. What? What, what are you doing here? Yeah, I get. Well, I guess I am rich. You know, I do have a lot of money. So, what? Well, what do you know? Um, I kind of want to get around to that item. Let me see if I can. 
I think I can slip on to the side of this house and okay go around and there's a rock smash rock and I hit the fences okay and that's a meteor so just have to surf around then <laughs> look at me trying these roundabout methods to doing things I'll be a hidden item there and I don't really care hey look it's a nugget Okay, that, that, that'll be it for this episode. It's been quite a long episode, so goodbye.